Well, first I check their voltage to see how how they're doing as far as voltage goes, and they're the exact same, which made it really easy because I can cut this, and then I can test this output, and then not cut that one and test this output, just to make sure before I cut them both. And yeah, so far it did not make a difference. So as you, yeah, as I assumed, it would kind of not because let's be honest, the panel is here, not here. This is just empty, empty plasticky space. So um, something I found with cutting them, if you do want to make shorter panels. If you cut halfway through and then snap it, if you have a look at this, see how there's like little white bits underneath? It's like, it's almost like tearing a little bit. It didn't go very far, it's like probably like a millimeter, maybe less. So it's not a big deal. And like you can see, it's also here, like on the part where they cut it. So it's not, not really a big deal. But if you just get like an X Acto blade or Stanley knife or whatever you want to call it, and just keep cutting, just keep doing lines and then eventually you get through it, then it is like a clean cut. That's about as clean as it gets. Like, that's, that's as clean as they did. So, um, yeah, definitely just use one of these and don't go halfway and snap it. Because, yeah, with this, it it does leave like little tail, tail lines. Yeah, thought I'd give you an update. All right, so this is what I'm doing to cut it. I've made a little measuring line here. So, take it to there. And that means that I've got there to there, the panel ends there, so I'll have that much spare on the sides. First piece is cut, that's pretty good, cutting that amount off, it definitely uh, definitely helps with size, and I'm going to do the same on the other side, and the same on this, and same on that one, so we're going to cut this times four off, which is going to be like that much. And that is going to make it so much better for fitting on my car. So yeah, as you can see, this is the cut. See, that's totally enough, I reckon. It's definitely cutting it pretty close. But I didn't nick the panel at all. And I tested it, and it puts out perfect voltage. Exactly the same as this one. So I'm going to assume that it is undamaged. And I'm going to cut the other side now. Second trim done. And they're still putting out the exact same voltage, so I'm going to test them on the car, make sure they're putting out the same amperage. But look how much different. Like, when I line those two up, there is that much extra space we're gaining. And, obviously, if I do the same to this panel, that's that much extra space we're gaining. Like, that is going to be, that's heaps. That's a heaps, massive amount. Because I don't need the eyelet holes anyway, I'm sticking it down. I think I'm going to sand this, though, just to make it extra smooth and make sure it's just as resilient. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Turning out, working out well. So, turns out that it's all good. When you cut it, I literally get the exact same power out of both of them. So, cutting it made no difference. And I'm just wiring it up now. Alright, so I'm just um, sanding it with a bit of... Well, first I just went, went along with this to get any little burrs. And then I um, sanded it with some 1200 grit. And then I just went over it quickly like a, just a quick like with the lighter. And as you can see, that is, this is the side that I didn't cut. This is the laser cut side from Renogy. And as you can see, there's like a little bit of delamination, tiny, tiny, ever so slight bit. And it's the exact same where I did it. And it is a perfectly slice. So this is what it ended up like. Sorry for the, uh, look at that by the way. Snails just casually like, I haven't been here that long, have I? But yeah, so that's that's the end that I've done. Pretty perfect, I reckon. And this is what it turned out after the cut. So you can see it's a bit jaggedy and not so perfect. So I definitely, definitely reckon if someone's going to do this, they should, um, yeah, sand it. Well, first just like sort of scrape it. Just get rid of all the like little loose bits like that. Just with the... Uh, with the exacto blade or um, Stanley knife, and then um, yeah, just to trim it so it's nice, and then just sand it so it's like perfectly smooth. And I just ran the lighter along just to, if it does have any little bits of plastic, just to like you know melt them back together or what have you. But yeah, it looks it looks pretty much the same as the way they cut it. And yeah, it checked it, and it per ter turns out. Um, it is, yeah, retains 100% of its power. So yeah, I'm thinking that it only really matters as long as you um, don't go past this because that is the cell and that is just buffer. But, yeah, I also rounded the sides. They're going to be on the outside. So it's going to be like this. I'm not rounding these sides because these ones are going to be like right against each other. And um, 
I'll round those sides. Yeah, that's it. Come on, little snail. Time to leave. Whoopsie doodles. There you get it. Pretty good. I'll put it on soon. All right, stage three. I think I don't know if we've really been given stages, but um. So the idea is that I've cleaned it all up. All we have to do now is line it up with this perfectly when we lay it down. Just like, you get the idea. There's gonna be nail on one side of me on the other, and we're not gonna record it because I'm gonna want both my hands. And yeah, if we screw it up, it's screwed up permanently because as you saw before, if once it sticks down, you have to destroy the panel to get it off. So we have to be very careful. And I'm gonna connect them together so it's one big panel and put the sticky stuff in the middle to keep them together. But that's looking pretty good. And it should work out pretty well. And it's gonna be stuck down like that. It does go over the wipers a little bit and it does mess with the spray, sprayer a little bit. So I might see if I can move the sprayer down and spray between this gap and then we'll be sweet. But if not, it's a little annoying. But um, as you can see, it doesn't mess with it too much. And uh, hopefully it's all good. Fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. You're getting all the tape already. All right, so this is the, the moment before we put it down. Put an extra bit on the corner because last time the corners peeled up a little bit. Extra bit at the front because it deals with the most amount of push. Extra little bit there as well. So there's three, at the, three, extra, well, three extras at the front. Little extra halves there because there's only a half half. Two in the middle and then up the whole side and then I've done it because the bonnet curves. I've put it on the bonnet instead of the the uh, panel. So hopefully I can just lay it straight down. Wish us luck. I'll show you the after product and hopefully it's as good as we hope it is and we're not like off to the angles really bad. Successfully done. Look at that. Looks beautiful. And it is. It is on that. It does look like there's a little bit of a kink in there now, but it's looking pretty good. Hopefully it stays good and doesn't come. Cause yeah, obviously uh, slowly pulling. Yeah, see that? There's like a little bit of a, a little bit of a lift. Don't know why. So it went down straight. Yeah, I guess the bonnet probably isn't 100% straight either. But a little bit of a kink's okay. Hopefully it stays good. I get good power from it. That's the main thing. It doesn't look like I'll be hitting the window wipers at all, which is nice. And I'll be able to run the power through and under here and connect it all up. See how it goes. Fingers crossed for it being awesome. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna go for a bit of a bike ride tomorrow and I figure I should finish the wiring while I'm here so um yeah on this side I took the positive on that side and ran it into this cable it's merged into one and then underneath so it's nice and clean uh, I might zip tie these together there should be a cross right in the center I reckon that'll look cool and pretty symmetrical and I'm just doing the same with this one so just Binding two cables together, I just use the blowtorch because it's a lot faster than using the solder solder head. And I um I cut both cables so they sort of mold into one a bit nicer. And then I'm gonna cover it with heat shrink. And then I'm probably gonna cover it with a second thing of heat shrink over this over the first one just so it doesn't touch anything. Probably doesn't matter too much with this one. That's what I did with the other one, because the other one's positive. This one probably doesn't really matter, but I'll see how it go. And then then I'll wire it all up and it'll be done. They look so good. Mm -mm, brand new. I hope this video can help anyone wanting to install panels onto their car or to cut panels, which does feel like a bit of a daunting thing to do. But yeah, I tested it and it didn't seem to mess with the output at all. I don't know about its life and performance over years, but they do laser cut them, so they are cut regardless. There's no like um like sealing process that it seems like they do. So it should be pretty much good as long as there's no delamination. So um, these are quality panels. I wouldn't recommend using cheap eBay ones because I've been down that road and it doesn't end well. You just have to replace them in two years. So these have a good warranty. And I think once you've cut them though, they avoid their warranty, but we'll see. Um, I hope it helps. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe and all that biz. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.